hello guys welcome back to php rad basic tutorial this is tuzik and um, in this lesson we are going to learn the relationship with tables and to achieve this there is a couple of things we have to do first the first thing is that we need multiple tables just like i've created here and you can see those tables from my database table i'll open it up and i have users parent english bioscience and mathematics so one thing about this table is that after creating multiple table as in many tables there is what we call a key in common as in a common key this common key is what we are going to use to link different tables together okay if you want to link this table and this table together they should have something in common if you want to link this one and this one together you should have something common so let me show you an example i want to link users and parents together and when you come here i have id of the user i mean id of the parent the name of the parent, the age of the parent and the status but when i come to users i have id of users the name of users age of users sex of users class of users and their parent id so if i want to connect these two things i'll actually connect link this parent id i mean this parent id i'm going to link it when i come here i will link it with this id since it is the same as the parent id of these guys so with these two things we can link these two tables together another example i want to show you is that when you come to english we have multiple records in english but when you look at here we have student id so i can link this english to these users since these users are my students students so i can link this english with their id i'll come over here and link them together and they will join all right so without further ado let's get started the next thing again we need is to create a new page to handle the connection um you can do it anywhere but when i'm doing table relationship or handling it i like to create a new page for it you know to come over here and add a new page you know it adds it adds it up for me then i will do the entire junkie works on it so after that the next thing again we have to consider is linking the tables together using the common key just like what i've explained earlier on so let's start doing something i'm going to move down to users going to move down to users i'm going to create a new page i'll call this page relation relation okay and i'm going to hit add now inside this relation we can preview it as you can see here um i didn't get it so i'm going to delete this thing and create another one call it relation like this with this then ch uh, checked in so because i want it to come as an option here all right it has come we have users we have relation so when i come to this relation there's nothing wonderful we still have the same data but let's start doing the connection on this relation so i'm going to inside this relation i want to target this parent id and i want to connect it with this parent all right with this parent id and inside our relation we are going to link this field with this field so let's start uh here i can simply do what we called um you don't need to do master set master relationship you can do that one but that's not what we are going to start with i'm going to uncheck this view there's a reason for that and i'm going to move down here i'm going to come here where they said default query configuration default query configuration over here we have table join tables so that's what we are going to link and uh, we are going to join parents because you don't need to choose user again because we are the table we are on is the user table even though we created a page called relationship but it's still inside this user's page so you don't need to select this user again you just need to select another table you want to join with this user you are so i want to create this parent i want to add it and um, i will select the parent and i'll come here i have to select the type of join i want for my own case i just want inner join and um, i want to link the user id no i want to link the user's parent id with the parent id so user's parent id 
with the parent ID. This is user's parent ID. This is the user's. All these things are the user's information. And user's parent ID is this field. That is what they are showing us. User's dot parent ID. And we've selected it. And the right side, we want it to be parent ID. So in this parent, the ID of that parent is what we want to join with this one. So once we are done with that, we hit OK. It's going to load the information for us. And this is actually what I want to avoid. That's why I unchecked this, but it still came. I don't know why. Um, we still have those things we have inside this relationship. One, two, three, four, five. Once we've created that relationship, it's going to add it to your view page automatically. And I don't know. I'm not surprised with that because PHP had mostly generated that. Now look at what happened. We are now inside this relationship, but we can see the ID of the user, the name, the age, the says, the class, and we start with parent ID, the parent ID, the parent name, the parent age, the parent status, and that is exactly what we got from here. You might be wondering, um, why, how sure are we that it picked the exact data? Well, I'm going to remove this parent join, and I'm going to join English where we have multiple data so that you can testify for yourself now again look at what happened we we don't have only one record in this users relationship here users you can see we have multiple records but for the fact that is only we chose inner join and is only one parent we have here and that parent matches with with this user john so the rest of the users like after john wasn't and cynthia they don't have any parent here that's why their data are not loaded okay we just load just the information of the people with parents because we chose inner join if you choose or you switch to left join this is what is going to happen let's come over here if you move to something like left join and we say okay preview it this one is going to happen. It's going to give us the information of Cynthia Wilson. And it's going to tell us that these people doesn't have parents recorded inside. But we, uh, John has a parent inside. And that's why it, we got the parents of that data. Because it's left joint. So we can choose right joint. Right joint will do equivalent to what inner joint does. Because we have just one parent. I know. But if we have multiple parents without having any users for them, it will still load it for us. So that is it. And um, I think that is, that is all you need to understand about table relationship. But another thing I want to do is, uh, another thing I want to do is, I would like to take off this parent uh, related stand we've connected. And I want to join just, uh, I want to remove this guy. Hit OK review so those join and relationship thing has been taken off so i want to join i'm sorry i want to join um this uh, users as in this student i want to join them with their english scores okay so to do that we come down here already we are in users already so there's no need to select them we just move down to english which is what we want to join and we select uh, I want inner join I prefer inner join and we want the user ID we want to match it with English student ID so two of them are the same match these two things and give us a data and we preview it when we come to our relationship look at what's going to happen it has gotten all those data for us and we can from here you know decide what to show and what not to show we don't need this English ID again and we don't need uh, something like student ID again because this is already the student ID. Um, to some point, we might not want to remax or we might need it and uncheck a lot of things here. But, you know, it's just to give you a clue of what you can do and we preview it. You know, we have it some, some level of spacing. So now this is the user ID and this is the name. This is the age, this is the sex, class, parent ID, classwork, English uh final work and stuff you know tails down we can also add another tables here with with even though we've joined to another table we can add another to make it three tables joined together and that table i want to link now is this 
uh, parent with this parent ID. Of course, we are going to load just one parent. So to do that, I'm going to come inside still on this relationship. We we have English. So I'm going to add parent to it again. And inside this pair, I just want left to join so that it's not going to remove our details. I want to join this parent, the user parent ID. I want to join it with the parent ID like this. And I want to hit OK. As you can see, it's uploaded it. But inside this parent ID, I want I don't want to show this parent ID again because this student has it. And the age of the parent, I don't want to show it, just the status I want to show. So we preview it. We are going to get something like this. You can see parent name, Mr. And Mrs. This. Um, let me let me take off this um, responsive table responsive. All right. All right. So as you can see, the parent name, Mr. And Mrs. John, married. Yes, and they are connected to John, and that's the sweetness of table relationship. You can add on multiple tables, and you just join them together. Alright, so thank you. I hope you guys will enjoy this. Have fun and stay safe.